Hi! In this simulation tech tip, I want to introduce you to a very useful SOLIDWORKS command called the split line that will lend itself very well to creating uh, simulation studies. The idea behind the split line is to take a sketch, as you can see here I've drawn a sketch with some equally spaced circles, I want to be able to project that sketch onto the face of my model so that I can break that surface out into a selectable region. I might apply a load or a restraint or a mesh control in my simulation study. To use this command, we draw a sketch and then choose Insert, Curve, Split Line. We'll project our existing sketch onto one or more faces on our model, and that's all there is to it. Now you'll notice I can select those faces individually, even though I haven't added or removed any solid geometry. One more quick example, let's insert a sketch on the top plane. I'll draw a center rectangle, dimension the width, and once again use the insert curve split line command. I'll project that on all the tangent faces and now I've split out a region all the way around my model. This will be really useful in applying a load or restraint. Now let's go over to simulation and create a new static study. My material is already assigned, all I need to do is assign my fixtures and loads. For my fixtures I'll choose fixed geometry and just grab all of the faces that were created by that split line feature. The other faces that were created, we can use those to apply loads. Maybe those represent the areas of a, uh, a load application, maybe another component. But split lines are a great way to create separate regions for loads and restraints without having to add or remove geometry from your model. Now we can quickly run the solution. Show the model in its deformed shape. And now it's obvious that the split line we created and the restraints that we put in place are, are allowing this model to behave just as we'd expected. So that's the use of the split line command, a very, very useful feature in SOLIDWORKS for preparing your models for simulation.